Okay, so in this uh, this assignment, we're talking about presentation software and using presentation software in the classroom. Um, so we can use it for obviously to um, engage our students. So we use things traditionally like PowerPoint. The only problem with PowerPoint is it's you know becoming neutral because everybody's seen it so much so often. Um, today we're actually going to use presentation software to build a self-correcting task. So you know it's those activities like flashcards um, that the student takes a look at something, they try to make an educated guess, and then we reveal an answer. In this case, we'll be using animation to reveal the answer. So we're going to have you log into your Ashland uh, account. So just like you do for your Gmail. If you're uh, in your mail, you can hit Drive, and um, that'll take you to Google Drive, which is formerly known as Google Docs or Google Apps. Once they're there, um, all we do is we hit Create, Presentation. Oh, by the way, you should be doing this in Chrome, so make sure you're in Chrome. Uh, once we get to the startup screen, it allows you to choose from several templates. I'm just going to choose the simple light one. And then we'll start building our flashcards. So I'm just going to type in Math 101, and then my name. Okay, so we're in Jason's flashcards. And then we'll create a new one. So I'll hit that plus sign in the corner, and that'll take us to, again, it looks like PowerPoint, regular presentation stuff. So I'm just going to do simple equations all right so I'm gonna drag this one down so it's about halfway down and then what we're gonna do is we're going to change the size of the font so I'm gonna drop that down to 72 and I'm gonna change this one all the way down to 96 if I want to change the colors I can highlight it use that A with the underline change the color on it and you always have to worry about contrast so you, the readability is high like we wouldn't want to use something like this because you can't read it and then you know we talk about the CARP model we talk about um, building a structure that you know creates a relationship and proximity so I'm going to put a line in between the uh, question and the answer. So just a little horizontal line like that. I can change the line color like that. I can change the weight by using that tool. So that gives us you know, a little structure in between. So it separates the question and the answer. So the student clearly you know, has, has a pattern. They see that there's a difference between the, uh, the answer and the, the equation itself. Next thing we, uh, we're going to put in is a little gold star, and uh, I'm going to go find one on Google. So I'm just going to type in star, and then hit images. And the cool thing is if you're using Google Chrome, some of these, um, like if I click on it and we look at the preview, I can click on that, and then I can drag it over. Apparently I have two versions of uh, Chrome open at the same time. Let's try again. All right, so if I uh, click on this guy here and I drag him up into my presentation tab, I can actually just drag him straight in to the slide. Shrink it up by dragging it towards itself. I'll pop him into the corner. Now we're ready for the animation, right? Because it's a self-correcting task. So we want the student to be able to work at their own pace. So the equation comes in when they want to see the equation. The answer comes in when they are ready to see the answer. So we'll click on the first element, which is 2 times 1. I'm going to go Insert, and then Animate. We're going to do a fly-in, and on a click. So the student clicks, it flies in. Next item, go down, add animation. This time we'll just leave it as a fade in, but you can always change that, right? Fade in, 
again on click so the student clicks when they want to see the answer because you don't want both the equation and the answer to be seen at the same time right because then it's not really a flashcard then we'll finally go to the last item here at animation we'll do a fly in this time with the previous so I test that out and I play it click on the slide yep click again and there's the reinforcement. Um, of course, whether the student guessed correctly or not, it's still going to have a little star that appears, but you know, decorative visuals, small school age children, probably a good idea. If we want to repeat this slide without having to rebuild all the animation, all we do is we right click on the slide, select duplicate slide several times. In fact, we'll do it four times. And then we'll just go through and change the equations. Okay, so at that, that point, the slides all function. If I want to test it out, I can go back to the first one, and I can start the presentation, go through using my arrows on my keyboard, and everything works. So I see everything works. Hit Escape, and it'll cancel it out. Then uh, after I do that, I'm going to retitle it. So I'll retitle this one flash cards hit OK and then I'm going to share this thing okay the good thing about um, the Google suite is you can actually collaborate with other people so if I wanted to add people so for instance if I wanted to add Dr. Romano to collaborate on the same slides if I'm doing a presentation for my program for class etc um, then we can all work together. We don't have to be all live at the same time. We can work and put our own stuff in there at our own pace. If I hit uh, change here, which is what you're going to want to do because otherwise I can't see it. Um, click on anyone with the link can access the document. So anybody who has the link can go in and take a look at it. If I hit save, up top here, and the link to share is what you copy, and that's what you'll paste into the Dropbox for this assignment. So I'll press Control C and copy that thing out, and um, that'll work. And Command C if you're a Mac user, and then we'll hit Share and Save. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, that's only if we want to add somebody to it. Okay, if this is changed already, you're good to go. You can just cancel out of it. And then be done.